uh, TJ Legacy, uh, Soapbox Run the Ropes. There's, there's been some reports uh, that leading up to Bad Blood regarding the representation of black male wrestlers within WWE. They haven't been on a PLE in the last three cards. There was no black male wrestlers on the Bad Blood card. Um, how do you gauge between making sure that there is representation and making sure that there are wrestlers that get opportunities that are deserved? I see everybody gets the opportunity. Like if, if I don't see the difference in anybody, I don't see the color, I don't see the nationality, I don't see any of it. I just see talent. I don't see the difference between men and women. I see talent. We tell stories with those talent, how they can handle that, those stories and how they can represent those stories and how we can bring those stories forward. So, um, you know, I don't keep track of any of that. I do what's relevant and what is best, in the, the best in storytelling and what's being delivered the best. And then that's what goes no different than, you know, the men and the women who main events, whatever, whatever the biggest stories are. That's where we go. Next question here on the left there, uh, TJ Legacy, uh, Soapbox Run the Ropes. And there's, there's been some reports uh, that are leading up to. I love my black people. I, I really do. I, I love y'all. Y'all know my black brothers, my black sisters, most definitely. But I love y'all. I do. I really do. But we got to stop this nonsense. We got to stop these narratives. It's getting out of control now. I, I really want y'all to stop with the narratives and stop with the craziness, okay? Because, cause, look, man, I get it. I get it. But I see a bigger picture. And what I mean by that is I see the play. I see something better. That y'all not seeing. To the reporter. That reported. That, that asked the question. You an asshole. For asking that question. First and foremost. And I also have to say too. In, to Triple H. Very terrible. Answer. Very terrible answer. That was a terrible way to respond to that question, by the way. Not the best way to respond to that question at all. But still, I don't agree with bringing that up at a time like this. Like, it wasn't necessary to say, oh, well, there hasn't been any black representation at these pay-per-views for the past couple of months. What's going on there? Like, yo, the pay-per-view is called Bad Blood. You have Metro Boomin and Future as the theme for the damn company. They did a fucking promo with Metro. They do it. They got Metro. They got Atlanta. They got black culture all around this fucker. But as always, niggas got to complain. This pay-per-view is called Bad Blood. Meaning, this is a pay-per-view for feuds that need conclusions. Or feuds, or feuds that need a little bit of spark in they, in, in they, in they, in they feuds with certain type of matches. This, was not the, this is not your average pay-per-view. This ain't fucking backlash. This ain't fucking... Uh, Tables, ladders, and chairs. This ain't 
this this ain't this ain't this ain't one of them pay-per-views. This pay-per-view has meaning. So black representation being involved, who, 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 what black wrestler really has a, 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 a big feud going on that needs a conclusion? What, Carmelo Hayes and um, Andrade? That's a SmackDown match. Granted, they putting on five-star classics, but it's a SmackDown match. We've been getting it on free TV while we paying for it now. Give if you're gonna give us a pay per view, give us something worth value. Just saying. So I I don't I don't understand why, and I've been seeing this all throughout. My, I've been seeing this all throughout the internet, um, in the black wrestling uh, space, like talking about representation. One guy brings us up, and all of a sudden, it's 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 a fucking Pandora box. So everybody just why ain't there no we don't it, bro first off we got enough representation in nxt do you not see what's going on here they bringing out sexy red they got rappers they got rappers doing the fucking theme songs for shows and shit megan the stallion is the fucking theme song for smackdown black people what more do you want from them they're integrating our culture in there. They got so many upstart talents in NXT. Y'all don't even see the fucking play. We here to take over. We got Trick Williams as NXT champion right now. We got Old Girl as the woman's NXT champion. We got so much talent in NXT. That's, that's about to be on the come up. Y'all not seeing the play. We about to take over, but nah. And then another thing, too, that really irks me about the black community and the black, com the black wrestling community is y'all have very bad tunnel vision, meaning y'all only see things from a two-dimensional perspective. You're not seeing everything from a three-dimensional perspective, meaning you're not even looking at the other ethnicities that don't have good representation. What about the Hispanic community? What about them? It's not just like y'all have to understand this. This ain't the NBA. This ain't the NFL. Like this is the WWE. This is a multicultural sport. Meaning all walks of life love this fucking genre of sport. It don't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Arabian. It don't matter. If you love wrestling, you love wrestling. We don't have to make it about race. We don't. Because I'm pretty sure the Hispanic community would like some representation, but I don't never hear the Hispanic community complaining. Shit, they just, shit, they just be enjoying the, sh they just be enjoying the show. Same thing with the Asian community. They don't, they never had a WWE champion. Think about it. Black people. We had Ron, what, Ron Simmons, Booker T., Mark Henry, Kofi Kingston, Biggie Langston, Bobby Lashley. That's seven people. The Hispanic community, who they have? What, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Alberto Del Rio, and recently Damian Priest. That's four people. The Asian community ain't got nobody because they never make it past the, they never make it, they don't, they, they can barely make it to the mid card level. So what does that tell you? <laughs> Come on, dog. Black people, we got to stop this nonsense, dog. It's, it's, it's been irking me all week seeing all these videos come out about 
you know, Triple H. I understand Triple H shouldn't have said what he said. He should have. He should have definitely did a better job with answering that question. That was a terrible answer. But we got to stop this whole. We don't never get our representation. Yes, we are. You just you, y'all just want y'all just want to be in the big league. So we just supposed to say, fuck Cody Rhodes, fuck Roman Reigns, fuck all these niggas. Let's put Xavier Woods in the, in, in the uh, discussion. Let's put Carmelo Hayes in the discussion. No, it don't work like that. You have to prove yourselves in order to get to that level. This is a business at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I, black people, too, dear, dear to black people. These businesses don't owe you shit. They don't. They don't owe you nothing. Not a goddamn thing. They don't owe black they don't owe the black community nothing. They are this is a business. They are here for the interests of everybody. So let's not go all Black Lives Matter on the goddamn WWE. Let's not do that, okay? I I really it, it really irks it. It's really been irking me all week. I really didn't want to make this video, but I felt the need to make this goddamn video. And it's just to say. Look, man, we got to stop this, man. We 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 already in we we got we're good right now. We got so many upstarts in NXT that's when they finally do get called up to the main roster, it'll be probably a big fucking influx of black talent going to the main roster. Y'all just got to be patient and give it time. We going to get there. We going to see our black brothers and black sisters at the top. We just had Bianca Belair for two years straight. Come on, man. I understand. They could have did a little better with Bobby Lashley. I understand. But it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. We can't cry over spilled milk. It's not, it's not, our, it's not our business. They don't owe us nothing. This this is a business at the end of the day. They have to do what's best for them in the interests of their company. They don't owe it to the black community to do anything. So let's just sit back, enjoy the show, and let's stop all this this riot, this 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 rise and just oh they they the the, the the WWE don't never want to represent us. And it's crazy because y'all never did this when Vince was in charge. Y'all never did this when Vince was in charge. Now Triple H in charge, and now all of a sudden one reporter asked this stupid ass question that he never should have asked in the first place. And now all of a sudden, oh, we gotta be angry. Oh, let's go, oh, let's go crazy on the internet. Oh, let's get on Triple H head. Nah, leave Triple H alone. Yes, like I said, he should have answered this question a little bit better, but at the same time. He don't owe uh, he don't owe the black community nothing. He supposed to do what's right for the business. <laughs> so let's not do this. Like I said, I love my black people. I really do. I love y'all, but we gotta stop this shit. These companies don't owe us nothing, man. It's not 2020 no more. We not stuck in the house no more. COVID has gone and went. Okay, can we please move on? Black Lives Matter, wokey woke shit is not gonna work no more. White people don't care. They not in the house no more. They don't have a reason to go out the house. They have a reason to go out the house now. They don't want to be out in the streets going Black Lives Matter. They don't want to do that no more. So let's fall back and let's focus on things that really fucking matter. If we want to be all Black Lives Matter, let's focus on things that really matter. Like, let's not do all this bullshit with the WWE. We got bigger fish to fry. You know what I'm saying? So let's focus on that and not focus so much on what a company is doing, what's best, a company doing what's best in the interest of them. 
Like when does that have why, like when does that become a problem? Like oh they'll never do nothing for the black community. Though. Like stop that, stop it. But anyway, so I just had to get that off my chest, man, because it's been irking me all week. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Till then, peace out.